Today, we're going to be reacting to the one and only Andrew Tate. Top G. Top G. So we're going to be reacting to some of him on Aiden Ross. See if we agree with some of his stuff. We'll find it's out. It's going to be very controversial, so fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into it. All right. If I decided to quit, I really would like to quit, and then I carried on doing it. I don't think I really wanted to. If you really wanted to quit, you would quit. So there's a lot of people it's who true. are chasing the familiar feeling, and that familiar feeling can be extremely destructive. And you know what I would say is the most destructive feeling to be obsessed with trying to obtain? What? Happiness. Yeah, that is true. If you are constantly, as a man, trying to chase happiness, as the most destructive thing you can do for your life. Because you can't delay gratification. Mm. You can't do anything which is particularly difficult. And the only thing that's going to make you happy quick is cheap happiness. Mm, let's stop it there. Cheap happiness. Delayed gratification. What is that? It's the process of just being simple. So many men are complicated with their process. Yeah. They want, they want the microwaved, I want it now, and then it kills all the nutrients. It's the same thing with anything in your life, whether that's quitting some addiction you have to becoming a man. Stop microwaving your feelings. I had a man, I had someone that I was talking to a couple weeks ago, and he's like, man, he's like, I've lost a little bit of weight, but I just can't get past the sweets. It's because you don't want to. Yeah. It's like if I told you right now. Stop eating your Snickers. If I told you right now, I would give you $10,000 if you ate if you ate super clean for three months. Would you do it? Absolutely. Add a zero. And that's the thing. That's so, what I was doing for my overall which, health. So that's the thing is you not getting healthy worth ten grand. I don't know. So like it's that's just powerful, but continue. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Real happiness, real contentment, and pride takes a long time to build. You have to be able to be unhappy or less happy for a long period of time to have a greater reward at the end. So anyone who's obsessed with chasing happiness is going to destroy themselves. If somebody has genuinely decided to quit drugs, genuinely, I believe they would quit. And if someone goes, I don't want to quit, man, and they do it an hour later, they don't want to quit. That's very interesting. Can people truly quit? If they want to, can you put your mind to it to quit just by willpower alone? I think we can. I Why? think we just have a lot of triggers in our mind built up over years of when this happens, this happens. Why do people go out and drink on the weekend and get absolutely drunk when something tragic Because happens? they have no self-motivation. They're not getting out of bed and doing the things that matter. So no, they're, I think, they're coping. I, I think it's even deeper than that. I coping. Think, I think it's the problem is years and years of built up pathways in your brain it's a cause and effect. You do this because of this. Why do you eat every day, right? You feel that you need to eat, so therefore there's that trigger in your brain of, okay, now I need to eat to survive. It's the same thing with addiction, in my opinion. I mean, I've been addicted to nicotine. I haven't been addicted to drugs like a lot of people. I just have refused to go there. But I feel like it's just pathways of cause and effect. When you get depressed, you do this. There's some people that are addicted to sex, and and you know they just can't, you know, and it's, it's because once they feel that, need of oh i have to do this they they don't fight it and it's because you it takes time to build that habit well you know if you don't want to get up in the morning say you get up at noon every single day right when that 5 a.m clock goes off and you have to get up your natural tendency is to is to not to fight it yeah it's, it's not a get rich quick scheme exactly your body not, isn't gonna get isn't gonna be great over you know right i tell away. people i tell men this all the time and this is goes hand in hand with what andrew just mentioned would you rather have a Happy Meal or a, a hamburger at McDonald's or would you wait for the steak? Well, a lot of people, it just depends on how long they have to wait. If they're hungry, they're not going to wait So what does hours. that come to? That comes to in the incompetence of not being patient because our generation with TikTok and all these other social media platforms is, I want it right now. Just endless, mindless scrolling on the internet. Uh, just next video, next video, next video, next video. Instead of realizing the best things in life worth having are worth waiting for. Exactly. Delayed gratification. Exactly. So let's, keep, let's continue. It's not my job to make people do things they don't want to do. If, you're, if your image in your mind is of the kind of person who is controlled by a substance, I'd be embarrassed for a non-sentient substance, a powder <laughs> or a plant to control me. It doesn't even have a brain. All right, it's my boss. What am I? I love what he says there about substance is not even being alive controlling you. A non-sentient substance. Non-sentient. Andrew has such a good vocabulary. It's incredible. <laughs> Honestly. Wow. So it, taking, the, taking that into, let's take that into a, a real life use case. Me as a man, I'm not working out. I'm not going to the gym. I'm not making money. But I'm just doing a nine to five that I hate. 
And then I go out on the weekends. And the only way that I can find satisfaction and fulfillment is to take a drug either orally or through the nose or however people are doing it these days to feel alive. And those substances are either created in a lab or been genetically modified to control your mind. And then you have the victim mentality and saying, now that this is quote unquote controlling my mind, I have no say in the matter. And so I become passive, I become lazy, and I can't get out. I can't get out. I think this is important to say though, because there's a lot of people I know that are struggling with drugs. And I don't want it to seem like we're just like, oh, you're just, blah, 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 you know, oh, you're controlling all this. I want, it to, I want you to know that you have power. I think you that have a way out. You have a way and you have their strategies as well. For example, get around men that are going to push you that are every day are like, yo, what are you doing? Call you, you out. Call you out for who you are because it's, it's tough. Like when you're struggling with that, everything in your body is fighting and telling you, do it now. Do it now. If you don't do it, you're going to have consequences in your brain. You're not going to be able to focus. You're going to be struggling, this and that. You need to surround yourself with men, which we've talked about before, that are going to push you to not let you stay where you're at. And that's when it comes down to have brothers, man. Focus on who you have around. Don't. Just I have- disagree with Tate on the part where he says that he's not responsible. Because if you have brothers around you that are struggling, you are responsible to get them out of where they're going. You're not taking a victim mentality of saying, Oh, if they do this again, it's my fault. But as a brother, as a warrior in arms, you have to call them out on stuff. Yeah. Yes. You have to call them out and say, get out of bed. Stop. You did that last night. That's not okay. Yep. I mean, it's like you're ruining your life. If you decided to go to the Middle East and, you know, do some (laughs) crazy stuff, I won't say. It's my job also as your brother to say, dude, what are you doing? Get your butt back here. It's time for us to get, get in the gym. Get your mind right. Call me when you're not doing right. Us as brothers. Yeah. If you didn't call me out on stuff, I wouldn't consider you my brother. Exactly. I would say that you're actually in it, not enabling me because I have power over my own mind. But our my response and reaction is to see what you're telling me as Isaac. You're trying to make me. I'm trying to make you better. It comes back to not relying on other people for you to get out of it. It comes back to you take control over your own destiny, but you have brothers that won't allow you to go back, right? Correct. Because the biggest thing is I can't rely on you to fix me. I can't rely on you to be the one to pull me out of that. But if I'm focusing on making myself better, you come along and pull me out of it even more. So that's, we're taking on life together in that way. But at the end of the day, it comes back to being in control of your own life. Cause and effect. Exactly. Let's go. No, I'm the boss. I'm the boss of tobacco and coffee and I'm the boss of everything. I'm the boss of food. If I don't want to eat, I don't eat. If you're the kind of person who's going to wake up and go, those pills are smarter than me and they're my master. Enjoy your life. Gotcha. All right, let's, let's end it there. Those pills are my master. So the question that I have for David, for the audience is, what is your master? What is mastering you at the moment? Write it in the comments. And then what is your plan based off of what you heard us just say? And give us your thoughts and your feedback. How do you plan to overcome and master the thing that is mastering you? Ultimately, you have control over your destiny. It's one step at a time. We're not giving you a quick formula to get better. But we are empowering you with the mindset to change the way that you live. And it might not be drugs, right? We're, this is could be anything. Like Social Tate, media. Tate's talking about that directly, but it could be your inability to not play video games for eight hours a day. It could be to where Netflix is your life. It could be where you don't spend time with your family because for you that's a difficult thing when you'd rather escape. And whatever that thing is that's controlling you, you have to realize that you are more powerful than it. You have to have that realization or you're never going to get out of it. You're never going to have sustained success because there's all these quick, get healthy schemes right away online. All these easy ways, you know, do this and do this. You don't have to do cardio. You don't have to do this and that. Do what hurts. Like I've told before, I run not because I think, I think I lose weight faster by lifting weights. I agree with that, but running freaking hurts. It's not that you don't enjoy it, it, but you still do it. I still do it because it hurts. Do what is uncomfortable, and over time, that's going to build the most powerful change that will actually stay because that's the only way. Yeah, 
the only way is to to change the way that you changing the way that you think will change the outcome because the outcome is determined by your mindset. If your mindset is I'm a loser, I'm never going to be anything, I can't overcome this, I can't do it, then you will never overcome. Same Correct. in business, yep. same in life, same in relationships. If you don't want to be a man to your wife, she's going to treat you as if you're not a man. Comment what you guys think. Do you like Andrew Tate or not? I mean, there's he says some pretty intense stuff, but I do think the one thing he's mastered is the power of the mind. So don't let your mind control you, control your mind. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Comment below, more content coming. Thank you. Peace.